Hey students in the chapter of design of riveted joints this lecture is on crushing of rivets or plates and the crushing efficiency i am dr balraj singh brad from yadavindra college of engineering talwandi sabo india i'm presenting the crushing crushing means to press or squeeze with the force that destroys or deforms or to squeeze into small fragments the material which is under crushing crushing is also known as bearing stress and is defined as the compressive stress developed at the surface of contact between two interacting members that are relatively at rest crushing stress is assumed to act uniformly on the projected area so what we have seen is we have to find out the compressive stress developed at the surface of contact and it is measured or found on the projected area now to explain the concept of crushing of rivets or plates means crushing will be observed in rivets or plates for which the for which material the strength is less suppose the rivets are of poor material we apply a tensile load on the two plates separating force on the two plates and pc is the crushing resistance which is usually measured per unit pitch then what we observe is the upper plate moves slightly to the left and in the process it crushes the rivets as shown at the by the red surface red surface projects that the rivet got crushed because of the movement of the upper plate which is relatively strong to the left similarly if the rivets are strong and plate is of poor material then the red portion shows the deformation of red portion shows the deformation of the plates and the rivet moves rivets remain at the same position so it means now according to the definition of crushing stresses we want to measure we want to measure the stress at the this interface this this or this what is the stress at this and that is known as crushing stress for example the plates were of poor strength what we will observe is at the interface as shown by red highlighted by red surface this is the interface surface this will be under crushing and the crushing stress according to the definition is crushing resistance measured per unit pitch divided by z number of rivets per unit pitch for for the present case of for the present case of single riveted lap joint we have z is equal to 1 because half rivet here and half here are there in per unit pitch total one rivet per unit pitch now so pc divided by z divided by dt dt is the projected area of the interface surface so this is the interface surface of the plate under stress its projection is projected area is this in this case the top side is d 
this side is t so area blue area is a product of d into t so we put this projected area and we find the stress load divided by projected area and how many number of rivets are sustaining it this gives us the crushing stress this should be less than equal to the allowable crushing strength of the material in case of plates it is of plate so crushing resistance per unit pitch it is measured per unit pitch pc is we cross multiply the previous relation upper relation so it is z number of rivets per unit pitch which are under crushing dt projected area into the allowable crushing strength so this relation is which we which is used to measure crushing resistance in the case of uh, riveted materials to prevent the failure of plate under crushing so in this slide if the rivets are of poor material upper plate we have section to show the interface surface on the rivets suppose upper plate in the lap joint was sustaining a crushing resistance pc per unit pc usually measured per unit pitch so total can be pc into the number of pitches or the length so the red shows the interface surface red shaded portion of the rivets which are under crushing similarly crushing stress is now pc load per unit pitch z number of rivets per unit pitch in the case of single riveting riveted lap joint we have one rivet and projected area similarly for this this interface area we take the projections it becomes a rectangle of width d equal to the rivet hold area height of dt so projected area is dt this gives the relation for the crushing stress now this should be less than allowable crushing stress or the strength for the rivet material in this case rivet sigma c for rivets is less than sigma c for plates usually the materials are same in the designing so relation is again the same only thing is sigma c we make use for rivets these are of this is for rivet so crushing resistance is z dt sigma c now crushing efficiency we will measure for rivet or the plate for which the crushing stress is less because relation is same so if crushing resistance will be lower for the rivet or the plate for which the crushing strength is less so eta c according to definition is crushing resistance of rivets or plate by the tearing resistance of solid plate a crushing resistance we have calculated z dt sigma c sigma c remember either of rivet or of the plate whichever is the lowest and this is the tearing resistance of solid plate so eta c gives the relation the figure is the same 3d diagram now so let us solve a problem on the calculation of crushing strength let there is a triple riveted lap joint as shown two plates one and two are overlapping we have three rows of rivets plates thickness is 8 mm both the plates are of both the plates are of same thickness t 
pitch of the rivets is 60 mm this is the pitch rivet hole diameter is 15.5 mm it is zigzag riveting as shown back pitch back pitch is the distance between the two gauge lines so this is p b the liable stresses in tension and crushing are 35 megapascal and 52.5 megapascal respectively here i want to tell you a general rule that crushing strength is approximately equal to 1.5 times the sigma t sometimes if it is not given it is it can be taken now calculate the crushing efficiency of the joint t 8 mm is given d is given pitch is given sigma t is given sigma c is given now we have to find out how many rivets are under crushing Suppose we apply a load PC on the both sides. So crushing here at this surface, half, half rivet here, half here, one. This interface surface, two rivets surface, two and half, and at three rivets are under crushing. So Z is three. Now, from the relation of crushing efficiency, we have relation Z dt sigma c crushing resistance to re resistance of solid plate. We put value of Z3, rivet hold IR D, thickness of plate T, and sigma c crushing strength. Here is sigma sigma t tensile strength and this is the pitch pitch of the plate and t is the thickness p into t gives the cross sectional area of the plate for a unit pitch length now t will cancel out and when we will solve it c will come to be 116.2 so the given triple riveted lap joint has a crushing efficiency of more than 100%. It is 116.25. Kindly note that this is not the joint efficiency. Because tearing or shearing efficiencies may have lower values for this joint. With this, the lecture explaining the concept of crushing crushing of rivet or crushing of plate and crushing efficiency calculation of crush, crushing efficiency is complete thanks for the patient hearing thank you